Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this TP-Link DECO AXE 5400 Tri-Band Mesh Wi-Fi 6E system. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this says, Superior Mesh Wi-Fi Everywhere, includes the latest 6 GHz Wi-Fi band, speeds up to 5400 megabits per second, covers up to 5500 square feet, connects up to 200 devices. And there are some footnotes on there. Those are probably on the bottom here. So the footnote talks about it needing devices that support this standard and such. So here are some specs on the side. It says wireless 2402 megabits per second on 6 gigahertz, 2402 megabits on 5 gigahertz, 574 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz. And in my experience, the speed you get is tends to be lower than what is published because there's overhead and things like that and interference and such. 3 gigabit ports per deco unit, WAN LAN auto sensing, mesh protocol 802.11. KVR, MUMIMO, so that's multi-user, multiple in, multiple out, OFDMA, HE160, 1024, QAM, BSS color, WPA3, access point mode, IP version 6 compatible, guest network, optional ethernet backhaul, and then this is the product dimensions there. So it says setup got easier, you unbox it, you install the app and follow the instructions on the screen. So here's some things on the other side, it says pretty much what was on the front. It says backwards compatible with all Wi-Fi generations and devices, ideal for three to five bedroom houses, compatible with Amazon ALEXA and Home Shield. So let's get this open. Okay, that's a nice presentation there. We have some foam on the top of the box to protect these. Let's check this out. So we have some plastic wrap here, I'll pull that off. So this has a very modern look to it. We have a vent in the bottom, vent on the top, the three gigabit ports on the back and the power. I'm guessing these are identical to each other. Okay, so here it says download the app, turn off your modem, plug in the modem and deco, open the app and finish setup. So let's pull this out. This is going to be power adapters. So here's the quick start guide. So there's the guide here. So it looks like the instructions, it has the 37 languages. It's pretty much all on this page and it says what we've already seen to go to the app and do everything from the app. And then it has some LED status codes there. So it came with an ethernet cable. It's kind of a flat cable. And we have the power adapter. There's two of these. These are 12 volts at two amps. And it came with a little card here saying if you have trouble connecting with Wi-Fi 66E, make sure your drivers are up to date. So that's good advice. So I'm going to pull up the app in my iPad. So I just searched for Deco. I see TP-Link Deco, I'll hit get. And needless to say, you could do this on a iPhone or Android phone too. It's downloaded, I'll hit open. So something to keep in mind is if you have absolutely no internet, you're going to want to download this at a friend's house or a library or something because you can't download it if you don't have internet, obviously. So it says Deco would like to send you notifications. I'll hit allow. I'll hit I've already given local network permission. It has privacy policy in terms of use. I'll hit continue there. It says welcome to Deco. I'll try and sign in. Okay, so I was able to sign in with a TP-Link account I already had. If you don't, you can create an account there. So it says paint your home in Wi-Fi, let's begin. I'll say I've already given local network permissions. It says identify your deco. So this is the XE75. So I'll look for that on here. It's the second row, third one over. It's showing me the deco, the power adapter, and the ethernet cable. I'll hit next. I'm just going to double check here. So I didn't see the AXE5400, which is the whole package. So you do want to just look for the individual access point. So I'll hit next. It says power off your modem. So I'm going to head over to my modem area and then we'll reconvene there. Okay, so here I have my modem. It's fiber optic. I'll unplug this. And technically it's the aunt. And my old router is plugged in with this here. So I'll unplug that cable. I'll hit next. It says plug in your devices. Connect your modem's LAN port to ethernet port on your deco and power them both on. So I've already plugged in the ethernet cable here so I wouldn't misplace it. I'll unwind this and I'll plug that into that ethernet port on my modem and then I'll plug power in on both of these devices. And as you can see, I do have a backup battery here. I don't know if that's a battery powered port. I'll move that later if it's not. So now both of these devices are plugged in. I'll hit next. It says, wait about two minutes for your modem to start up. When the modem is ready, the internet LED on your modem will usually light up and become stable. So this is kind of flashing right now. This is flashing, so I will wait. So I'll speed up the video here until that is stable. There's also a little green light here on the Deco. Okay, the lights are lighting up here. I have the power broadband service lighter on and ethernet is on. I'll hit internet is stable. It says wait until your deco's LED pulse is blue. Let me turn my light down here so you can see these lights a little better. So here we have blue here and these lights are on. So it says your deco is ready for setup. So I'll tap that. It says looking for deco. It says auto connect. I'll try that. 
It says Deco wants to join the Wi-Fi network Deco 3A 3D. I'll hit join. Looking for Deco. Found it, connected to Deco. It says, where have you placed this Deco? So I will say custom. This is in my shop. I'll hit next. It says detecting the internet type. It says enter the information provided by the ISP. If you are unsure, contact your ISP. So the connection type I will tap on is PPPOE. So I'll enter in that information. I also need to change the VLAN settings. So I'll tap on that, turn that on. The VLAN ID is 201 on this. Priority, I think that's just one. I'll enter that. I'll hit next. It says now let's create your Wi-Fi network. So I'll just call it Deco Wi-Fi. I'll give it a password, Deco Wi-Fi password. So needless to say, I'm going to be changing this. So I'll hit next. Okay, it says connect your phone tablet to the Wi-Fi to continue setup. I'll hit connect. It says Deco wants to join Wi-Fi network Deco Wi-Fi. I'll hit join. It says found it, connected. Testing internet connection. Deco is now online. Your Deco network is now up. It's ready to use. Please connect all devices to the Deco network for better connections. I'll hit next. So that was incredibly easy. I was not expecting it to be that easy. So it says plug in other included Deco units and these Deco units can be automatically added to your network within two minutes. So before I do that, I'm going to do a network speed. Maybe I don't trust this. I want to see that it's actually up. So I'm going to open up a speed test here. I'll hit go. Okay, and we're getting 200 megabits per second. That's my speed. And we should get 200 upload also, or close to. And we are, so that's good. Okay, we'll head back into the app. So I'm finished here. I'm actually going to head back over to my bench and we'll plug the other unit in there. Okay, so I have the second deco here. I'll plug this in. I'll plug this into power. I'll hit got it. It says waiting. So maybe I needed to stay on that screen. I'm not sure, but I'll skip past this. This talks about Home Shield Pro. I'll say skip for now. I'll hit the add button up here. It says, what do you want to add? I'll say decos. I'll say the XE75. I'll tap that. It says select the layout that looks like your home. We'll tell you where to place your decos. Now I have a two story home, but I'm just going to put this on one floor right now. It says power on the deco and wait till the LED pulse is blue. Okay, so it's still starting up. Turn the light off here so we can see when that turns blue. Okay, it's pulsing blue. It says looking for the new deco. So what I'm guessing is happening right now, the decos are probably talking to each other, so I don't have to go through the setup like I did before. Okay, it says where have you placed this deco? I'll say office. It says optimizing your network. It says you can now connect devices to this network. I'll say I'm done for now. It does say update for Deco firmware is available. So I'm not going to update it during this video, but I will update that when I'm finished. You do want to update things right away in case there are security updates and such. So now I have both of these hooked up. So if I tap on home network, we can see my iPad here. I'll tap on internet. We can see the two Decos. It says this is the main Deco is shop. If I tap on that, we can see it has mesh set up. Let's go to the second one. So I'm going to move away from the shop and we'll see if I connect up to that second Deco.
Okay, so the speed is lower as expected. So the way the mesh network works is the initial deco is sending internet over to the second one, and the second one is relaying it to my iPad. So that gives you more range. Now, I got 59 down, 46 up. That's plenty fast to even stream 4K video. Now, if you want faster internet, and if you're capable, you can run a cable between these two. So then your backhaul is on ethernet. So certainly that's not required and you want to test it for your situation, but if you already have ethernet run, or you're easily capable of doing that, that's certainly an option to give you improved performance. So that's the setup of a Deco AXE 5400 tri-band mesh Wi-Fi 6E system. So I connected this up to a fiber optic network. It was super easy to do, but I really just scratched the surface of this. I touched upon doing an ethernet backhaul, and there are many other things with this, many configurations, probably optimizations you can do on this. But that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.